My name is Paul Schunke. I work for International Truck as a uh, vocational engineer. I try to put the uh, correct features and functionality into, into our products to allow our dealers and customers to uh, choose them over the competition. We're looking today at the uh, Max 47, the Terra Star. Sorry, the Terra Star with the Max 47. Uh, it has one engine, 300 horsepower, 660 foot pounds of torque. It's coupled to an Allison transmission. The uh, vehicle is rated at uh, uh, as high as 19,500 pounds, as low as 16,000 pounds, so it's a class 4 and class 5 vehicle. Uh, we do that with a 16, uh, sorry, a, uh, 80 KSI uh, frame rail. Uh, it's the strongest frame rail in the industry. Uh, we've uh, done, uh, done some special things by doing a drop frame rail. That gets the cab about 6 inches lower than the, uh, than the, the Durastar. Uh, that offers you a very uh, very low step in height, one step only. Uh, I believe it's at about a 19 inch step. Uh, the interior uh, is all carryover. The cab is carryover from the Durastar and Workstar product. We've got a number of different seat uh, options. Uh, we have a number of different uh, things that you can do with the Diamond Logic electrical system. Uh, it's standard column, tilt column, tilt and telescopic column. Uh, it's also available, this one has the column shift as opposed to the T-bar. Um, other uh, cabs that are available are the extended cab and the crew cab. The front axle uh, can go down as low as 6,000 pounds, uh, up to 7,000 pounds. The rear axle and suspension can start at uh, 10,000 pounds. It's also an 11 and a 13,500 pound. The vehicle is overall limited in GBW by the, the TRW brake system and the uh, Allison 1000 series uh, transmission. Under the hood is the Max 47 uh, 2010 uh, engine. And again, it's rated at 300 horsepower, 660 foot-pounds torque. Uh, some of the optional uh, accessories that you can get with this air compressor, uh, you can get it with uh, dual air conditioning compressors uh, for like an ambulance body. Um, on the other side you'll see some of the uh, maintenance checks that you can do. Well, on this side you can do the, the brake, the uh, radiator fluid, as well as, uh, what else do we have over here, dipstick, oil, uh, transmission fluid checks. On this side is where you'll get to the, the air filter, again, uh, and then the uh, air conditioning uh, filter, in-cab filter. All of these can be done with no tools. Uh, there you can better see the, uh, the taper leaf front suspension, again, 6,000 and 7,000 pound uh, ratings. Uh, a couple of different uh, wheels, you can get aluminum wheels. This one has uh, steel top caps, it's steel wheels with uh, steel hubcaps. Another new thing for 2010 is the uh, engine control module is not mounted on the engine to reduce vibration. They've moved it off the, uh, the engine and moved it towards the uh, air filter. Another check here is the, uh, the power steering fluid reservoir. Can you show us the exhaust um, yep. packaging with the right DPS? There's uh, one, uh, one exhaust package available. And it's a uh, right side horizontal horizontal. It's inboard of the uh, the frame rail. So if you have a slide over blot body like a uh, service body, um, gosh, a uh, utility truck and that kind of variation, that you don't have to worry about it interfering with the uh, the exhaust. Another thing you'll notice that the the frame is put together with huck bolts. It's not riveted, so on and so forth. It's a one piece frame rail. Again, 80 ksi from the front to the rear. The rear section is a 9 inch deep section, uses the same cross members and suspension brackets that the, uh, the Durastar uses. Um, about the middle of next year, or the beginning of at least the first quarter of next year, we'll have air suspension available. Well, thank you. It's no problem.